In this video, we're going to talk about the Arnold uh, rate types and uh, the difference between the direct specular and indirect specular. And I have created this uh, the sphere the sphere object, and I assigned a sphere shader to it. And uh, we're uh, I'm using the same uh, uh, ground from the previous scene, but I added some diffuse uh, now. So I'm going to uh, go back to the render view and hit render, and we should see the sphere and the ground so i don't see the sphere and let me fix that super quick so so we have our sphere and uh, we have the ground and i'm going to change the color of the sphere to be red okay and i'm going to add a little bit more a little bit of highlight to this sphere. And what's happening now, we have uh, these two controls. We have the, uh, there is a uh, distant light in the scene and there is sky dome. And any reflection of the light, any specular from lights uh, that includes the sky dome or any Arnold light types from any of these is called direct specular. And if I turn off indirect specular completely, and also on the ground okay we're we're going to only get reflection of the uh, of the lights that includes the sky dome as well so right now we don't have any any reflection uh, happening between the objects so for example the ground is not reflecting uh, the the sphere itself but the what we're seeing here is the reflection of the environment um, of the sky dome on the ground, but we're not actually reflecting the sphere. You can see we're not getting any red um, on the sphere itself. And <clears throat> if we start uh, if we start introducing back the indirect uh, specular, we can see that now we're actually reflecting the sphere. And maybe I should make it. Uh, let me remove the highlight, and I'm going to make it red red and for the ground I'm going to turn off diffuse so we can see it and if I again if I use the ground and turn off indirect specular you can see we're not reflecting the sphere at all it's just we're reflecting the environment but it's been occluded by the sphere and if we introduce the indirect specular again it's going to start reflecting object so basically the direct specular in Arnold is any reflection of lights that includes the sky dome and the indirect specular is the reflection of anything that is not a light so if this sphere re reflects the ground that is indirect uh, uh, specular if the ground reflects the sphere itself that's indirect but if the, the if the sphere reflects the light that's indir that's direct direct specular and right now it is uh, it is off so i'm going to uh, uh, introduce it introduce a little bit of uh, uh, specular to the to the sphere and that's called direct specular and you can see right now the sphere itself I'm gonna uh, lower the roughness the sphere itself is not reflecting the ground because I have indirect specular turned off on the sphere shader and I'm going to uh, I'm going to set it one uh, set it back to one so we get reflection of uh, the sphere. Uh, we get the sphere reflecting ground and vice versa. So we have full reflection. So basically what I'm trying to say is the specular in Arnold does not mean just the highlights from the uh, from the lights. It also means the reflection of uh, of the object between themselves. And that's the these are the two this is the multiplier for that. And we're going uh, to take a look at the render settings and see where uh, we can control the quality of these of the reflect of the direct specular and indirect uh, specular. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.